hello uh, from today we will start our mathematics session i have brought important questions uh, for your all type of entrance examinations especially these questions are important for your class 11 science and isc examinations uh, so let us begin uh, with our question question number one how many solutions are possible for the expression x to the power 4 plus x square plus x is equal to 6 for this type of questions we need to see the maximum power of variable if the power of variable is 4 then different four value of x are possible uh, the value of x are called solutions uh, so in this question uh, the option choice d is the correct answer so we'll get uh, uh, four solutions from the question number one so our answer choice is d <coughs> uh, question number two empty set is uh, blank of every set empty set is option choice a subset option choice b proper set option choice c universal set option choice d is null set so our correct answer is a subset empty set contains no element so this set is subset of every set every other set now let us be in question number three which expression does not re represent a straight line we have three standard form of straight line first uh, is option choice a y is equal to mx plus c this uh, is called uh, slope intercept form and another line is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 this is called double intercept form of straight line and x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to 1 this is called normal form or perpendicular form of a straight line and ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 this is not a straight line and another way to find uh, whether the line is straight line or not is if your x contains power more than 1 x square or x cube or higher term of power of x then that is not a straight line so in this question number three which expression does not represent a straight line our correct answer choice is option d ax square plus bx plus c does not represent a straight line all other options are standard form of a straight line question number four which expression represent a quadratic equation uh, as we know that from question number three a b c are the three standard form of straight line so our option choice d ax square plus bx plus c is a quadratic equation in this case ax square plus bx plus c a should not be equal to zero if a is not equal to zero then ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero represents a quadratic equation question number five solution of the equation x square minus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0 is real imaginary 0 and infinity this a solution of this question comes from the solution of quadratic equation uh, we learn of uh, in your class 10 that a quadratic equation the solution of quadratic equation is x is equal to minus b plus minus root under b square minus 4ac upon 2a try to remember the uh, that's the solution of the quadratic equation minus b plus minus root under b square minus 4ac upon 2a in this case if your b square minus 4ac is less than 0 your solution will be imaginary if your b square minus 4ac is less than 0 then the solution is imaginary and the question number 5 uh, if you compare your equation x square minus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0 with ax square minus bx plus c is equal to 0 you will get a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 2 and c is equal to 6 and then if you find the value of b square minus 4 ac if you find b square minus 4 ac your value will be negative if b square minus 4 ac is negative then solution is imaginary because of that solution of question number 5 is b imaginary <laughs> question number 6 the probability of getting prime number in a throw of dice is if you throw a die or if you throw a dice and then the possible outcomes are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and prime number among them are 2 3 and 5 and then total number of cases is 6 from 1 to 6 and the prime number is 3 2 3 and 5 prime number total and prime numbers are 3 so your answer is 3 by 6 will will give which will give you 1 by 2 so our option choice d is the correct answer for question number 6 the probability of getting prime number in a throw of dice is 1 by 2 because there are 3 prime numbers 2 3 and 5 and total number are 6 in a dice question number 7 which expression represents a natural number natural number starts from 1 
वन टू थ्री फाइव एंड इट रन्स टू इन्फिनिटी सो आवर अप्सन चॉइस ए इज द करेक्ट एंसर फर द क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेन अप्सन चॉइस बी जेरो वन टू थ्री दी दिस इज द दिस इज द होल नंबर होल नंबर होल नंबर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जेरो बट नेचुरल नंबर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन सो फॉर द क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेन आवर करेक्ट एंसर चॉइस इज ए एंड इज इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सो ऑन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट यक्स इंटरसेप्ट एंड वाई इंटरसेप्ट ऑफ द इक्वेशन थ्री एक्स प्लस टू वाई इज इक्वल टू सिक्स इज फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन द द सिंपलेस्ट वे टू फाइंड योर यक्स इंटरसेप्ट एंड वाई इंटरसेप्ट इज इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द यक्स इंटरसेप्ट कीप द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई जेरो इफ यू कीप द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई जेरो यू विल गेट थ्री यक्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एंड यक्स विल बी सिक्स बाई थ्री विच विल गिव यू टू सो यक्स इंटरसेप्ट इन योर ऑप्शन चॉइस बी विल हैव वी हैव यक्स इज इक्वल टू यक्स इंटरसेप्ट इज इक्वल टू टू and again if you if we keep the value of x is equal to 0 you will get the y intercept if you keep your x is equal to 0 you will get 2y is equal to 6 and y will be 3 so your option choice b is the correct answer for this question another way is just divide this equation by 6 uh, in both side and compare that equation with x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 your a is x intercept and your b is y intercept question number 9 uh 2 power Uh, 2 to the power 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus dash 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 will give you. Uh, in fact, in this question, this all are in power. The bracket term are all in power, and then your answer. I will leave this uh, question number nine for your homework. Do find the solution of this question number nine. Uh, for the any difficulty, I am ready to solve in the comment session. Now let us move to the question number ten. How many significant figure are there in 0.0030050? The correct answer for this question is five. In this question, the 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 number starts from three. Uh, so zero point zero zero. These are not significant. From three, there is another number of uh, five after two zero. So that number are significant. And last zero is also significant. So on counting this type of significant figure, uh, we need to take care of the term that starts from the. Uh, from decimal, uh, the num only number. If if it is zero point zero zero zero, then we will not count that zero. From three, it will start. Our three is the first significant figure, and zero is another significant figure. After three, we have five terms. So total significant figure for question number ten is five. So for the question number ten, our correct choice answer choice is answer choice five. Thank you very much. I will bring another uh, set of important questions for your examinations in upcoming uh, days. Thank you very much. All the best for your entrance examination.